y'all what is good so today is going to be a braids video i actually already cut them off we're gonna get rid of those and we're gonna dive right into this after i take these braids out i'm gonna talk to you a little bit about my views on life and spirituality in this generation so basically i'm just gonna be um taking my braids out in a time lapse certain portions here and there i'll be Maybe talking to you, maybe not. You can just vibe out to the music and watch. As you see me comment about, I think, 20 seconds ago, the video of me talking about life and, you know, quote unquote, living in the matrix starts at 3.52. So I'll put that in the description as well. So you can watch the whole video and you don't miss anything good that you're supposed to hear because maybe this was a sign and it's just like that like magic okay you know i was actually kind of shocked because i think i've seen some growth when i undid my braids and i was like hold on hold on i think box braids are such a cute hairstyle you can do it in so many different forms you could do like the goddess braids you could do Regular boss braids, skinny ones, chunky ones, you could put sea cells in it, you could put beads, gold cuffs, silver cuffs. Just looking like queens, walking around looking like bosses. But I'm actually very excited to get into this video today and talk about my views. Because it's good to get it out there, you know, if you hold them inside and you always feel like you should choke on your opinions around other people to make them happy you not making yourself happy in the long run so you are failing at making everybody happy because you aren't happy but i'm gonna just let you guys chill out and vibe out a little bit while i do these braids and yeah enjoy i think you only have about two minutes left of me doing this anyways so I am back from washing my hair, getting ready, feeling nice. We finally got past those braids and I can finally talk. So I am just going to do my hair and talk to you guys. And I don't know, just really free up some space that I've been seeing that would, um, I think help you guys and relate to you guys a lot because I feel like we're all on the same type of wavelength right now. I mean, different journeys, same wavelength because 2020. Whoop! This is the first thing I'm gonna put in my hair. It's called the Liquid Beauty. Oh, Liquid Pearl, sorry. It's by OGX and it just gives your hair some shine. Mm hmm. So. I realized that a lot of people think they're waking up. A lot of people are saying they're woke and they're starting to see the signs, but they're they're here. They need to get here. I'm not even here yet. I'm like here. People are here saying that they're woke 
and they are just starting to see signs. So let me tell you about these signs, okay? If you are starting to see the same quantities, this is Lusty Argan Oil, four in one leave in conditioner. If you are starting to see the same quantities in everyday life, and you're seeing signs, like angel signs, numbers like 444 or 777 or 1234, you are just starting to wake up. See, it gets very deep. It all starts with you. You are a spirit being having a human experience. This body is just a shell. It's not you. Once you take that in, then you realize that you were created and created with a purpose. Now, if you are feeling the low vibrations of the world around you and you feel like you're stuck, you're in this cycle that just keeps happening over and over and over in different ways and you feel trapped negatively, you can get out. Because if you have a spirit, what does that mean? That there are other spirit beings, right? We live in reality, in the natural realm, in the third dimension, people say. But what you don't see is that there is a whole dimension overlapping this one. It's called the supernatural realm. Honey, you have no idea, okay? You think that you're thinking these thoughts? More than half the time, you're just listening. These are other spirits that have access to your mind, which is your soul. Your soul is your mind, spirit, and emotion. If you don't want to take these as facts, you don't have to. These are just what um, I have learned over the years of watching and um, experiencing. I'm an empath and that's because God blessed me that way. I used to think it was terrible. I used to think I'm such a weak person. I'm a crybaby. Blah, blah, blah. Looked into my sign. I'm a Pisces. I'm supposed to be a crybaby. <laughs> but I am... I don't want to say I'm spiritually inclined, but I feel like I see things past the surface level because I haven't blocked any of that out. A lot of people, not saying all of them, but a lot of people don't like the thought of not being in control. So they try to block out what is in fact truth and reality because they see it as normal in society. Do you ever really hear people talking about God in public? And when you do, they're radical. Those are the people that don't care about their image, about their ego. Um, society these days is very driven by ego, very driven by status, very driven by money, power. People want to feel in control of everything, their entire lives, they feel as if they were entitled. The thing that society doesn't know is that this was all planned. It's all part of the bigger picture. Social medias, these technologies, we're just gonna get migrated into the next advanced distraction. Many people don't really understand that. When I say distraction, People don't understand that almost anything can be a distraction if it's not lining you up to your spiritual purpose. If you feel empty, purposeless, and like you have something wrong with you and you're accepting 
this diagnosis, you're giving into exactly what these evil energies around you want. People don't like hearing about the devil or demons, but just know that they're working and they um, probably know more than you do. They know how to deceive. They know how to tell you the truth but in a deceitful way. And when these energies cross your life and you know that they're around, but you ignore it, I mean, we all go through, you know, certain choices that weren't the best, things we regret, things that we wish we could take back. We all live from these certain memories we all experience from them over and over and over again until we realize that we are more than that and that what happens in the physical is very carefully calculated to get you in the supernatural, in the spiritual, to the next level of your purpose. And when I mean purpose, I mean what you feel you were designed to do, what you're so beautifully and elegantly and simply amazing at, the things that make you feel alive. Many people feel like they don't have a purpose. They feel alone, they feel trapped it's because they're deluded. It's because they're filled with the spirit of confusion. They think that they're on the right track they're making money, they look amazing, they have such a presence, they have such a status, everyone loves them, but they go home, they look in the mirror, and they don't know who they are. And it's facts for a lot of people too. It's, it's actually kind of sad because they feel like they're alone. And Americans at that feel like we must do everything by ourselves because, well, maybe we don't think we're better than the best, but we think that we're right. We think every decision in our mind is a decision that was supposed to be made. And that's not right, because half the time, like I said, we're not even thinking these things, these negative thoughts, these irrational, impulsive decisions that we make, sometimes aren't even ours. An idea is like an egg. It gets implanted into your head, starts rumbling, cracks. It opens and manifests in the physical, all because you let it. The second that you get a negative thought, you can cross it with something else. You can say no, because you have the power to do so. Some people think that they have all the power. Some people think that they are God themselves. If you're one of those people and you want to debate me, I'm sorry, it's not up for description. <laughs> we are not gods. We are God-like, made in his image. I know it's confusing. I know this life is hard, but in due time, if you ask the desires of your heart, they will all manifest. The law of attraction is real. Faith is real. Hope is real. You are not just a human being that will just die. Your soul and spirit are infinite. This is just a shell. You'll realize, and I hope my message comes along clearly. It's probably gonna be a little bit confusing because I didn't take notes or keep, you know, like, I didn't make a list or anything. But all I'm really trying to say is that you're made for more. You are beautiful. You are alive. Do you ever, like, look in the mirror and disassociate from your shell? From your body? Sometimes I look in the mirror and I'm like, who is it? But <laughs> that's just your spirit looking at your soul and your soul looking at your shell and realizing that 
that is not you. There's more to you, there's beauty in you, there's art in you, there is power in you. You radiate energies, negative and positive. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much if you made it to the end. If you got past all my weird braids and rambling, <laughs> click the bell, click subscribe if you made it this far, click likes up if you liked what I talked about. And share this video if somebody needs to hear it, if somebody wants to hear it or has been talking about this subject around you lately and we'll look for some good insight. My next video, I don't know what I have to bring. It's gonna be special and it's gonna be for you. So yeah, just watch, bye.